Alright, the stream is live. What is up, y'all? So, I got some big stream upgrades, big haircut. Don't know if you guys noticed my haircut, but um, yeah, it's really great. And I got a light, it's right there. The light is casting some light. So, I won't be streaming in the dark as much anymore. I might still do that, it's kind of a vibe. But for now, I'll stream with some light so you guys can see my beautiful profile. And then when we go like this, you can see me more. There we, there we go. Yeah, it's really hype. Really great day to be a streamer. And I, I thought I got some new glasses in the mail. There's actually a pair of pants I ordered for my job I forgot about. But there's some new glasses on the way. So two out of the three big stream upgrades have happened. I got another light that needs AAA batteries. So this is the light, and then we'll have a multicolored light. I'm going to put it up there. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing some cool stuff and whatever. But yeah, as you guys can see, playing some F099 and we're going to do some warm up before I go to do the Grand Prix. And yeah, I'm going to read some more names for you guys, including Yami1774. I think that's close to the name of a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I think there's one called Yami or Yumi or something. But yeah, so far I, I was playing some of this last night out streaming. My biggest weakness is the White Land trap. Because literally I almost completed a Queen Cup. I was on the last race. I freaking screwed up going over this one jump. White Land, like, Mute City 1 and 2 is kind of like the same thing. And same with Port City 1 and 2, but White Land 1 and 2, it was a lot different, so that kind of caught me off guard. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try to finish this race, honestly, because, like, I can practice in this track, and, um, I, I guess too often probably I've been playing Risky, I've been dying this track like every time. But, yeah, we gotta, gotta get some good placements out here. If I'm streaming a video game, gotta do super well in the video game right now. So. Yeah, this game is pretty difficult. It has a really good, like, skill curve or something. Yeah, and there I was playing safe, except not at all, right? that one KO, it made me feel overconfident, you know, it's just a bot KO. Yeah. So, like, I'm happy to see my kill, so I got a piece of placement. Tap that, bro. I'm going to sell the top 25, it's the top 10. Doubt it. I think I'm starting to get a feel for the track more at least. I don't really need my white land skills. Um, for this cup that's about to start. Oh yeah, and I hit S minus, so now I'm an S rank player. Last time I was talking about how I should have been up in the S rank. And it was true, because like I, I did so many races yesterday, and like a lot of them I got like 70th or 80th, and I still earned ranking up points. Um, so I was like, dang bro. But all I need to do is get a win and get um, win a queen cup, or not, not even win a queen cup. That would be really difficult. I just need to complete a queen cup so we can get the final um, blue falcon decal. But 
But yeah, I'm really liking the new haircut. Going in a great direction. Because uh, focusing on driving wasn't looking at the numbers. Alright, so we got another top 25. Pretty reassuring. Now let's put my skills to the test. See if I can freaking win a Grand Prix. It's probably more likely for me to win a Grand Prix than to get a win at this point. So I haven't come in first yet, but like, if you get five top tens. You can still have a pretty good chance. It just depends on like if the same people are getting the top three or four, then they're gonna obviously win the Grand Prix. But like if it's really inconsistent who's in the top five or top ten, then um wouldn't be as difficult or something. You guys probably get what I mean. You know, it's all just math and numbers. I am the Omega Pigeon SA Gloria. Don't even dress me unless it's a full day. Yeah, I kind of messed up. I forget what the lyrics are there. <laughs> but that guy had some Omegas on his name. It's pretty cool. Gives me the Memento Mori vibe. Way more of a try hard lobby I think they have enough to 
get one more. Yeah, that was a really competitive lobby. So it was a pretty solid race, I feel like. But yeah. It feels bad when you get below like 20 or 30 something in the first race of a Grand Prix and it's like a guarantee you won't come in first just about. I'm just playing I'm just playing this game for fun. If you only play to win in any battle royale game for that matter, it will be kind of like it'll be it'll be kind of verkamies. If verkamies was an adjective, that is exactly what playing this game to only come in first would be like. I don't even remember what it was. Verkamies. I think that was it. Verkamis. Sounds more like an adjective than a name, right? I mean, they usually words with IES are like uh, nouns, I think. Like uh, priorities. Obviously, I have amazing priorities. Thanks for asking. I stream on Twitch every day for zero viewers. <laughs> no, sometimes there's a few. Sometimes there's one or two, I guess. Mostly at this point of view, it is making YouTube content. My YouTube views have been going up a good bit, and I think I know what I have to do to get them to increase more. Play more classic fighting games in Trackmania. I just haven't done it yet. Yeah, I was playing World Heroes, though. That game is really funny. It's gonna be a funny game to complete.
times I, I like those times I feel like I'm getting pretty good at this game. Duking around the corners while barely touching the wall. Yeah, like that was really tight. It's Jeb Bush, OMG. All the president put me in it, I feel like he would be one of the ones that I'd like to actually play video games. He'd be like the guy from House of Cards. Instead of shooting games, he played that here at 99. I still thought that was kind of cool and kind of weird at the same time. I like the main character in House of Cards. The gamer. I think it's a Netflix show. I don't really want to explain my logic behind that, but if anybody knows about Netflix, you can fill in the blank. Alright, well that was tight. I haven't got a top 5 in a little while. This was up. Is that going to put me up kind of near, kind of high on the Grand Prix list or something? Number 2 Blue Falcon, number 2 S Pilot. Okay. 15 Brawler is kind of low, but... Not every round can be a brawler round. Alright, Jeb Bush is one of my rivals. My Jeb Bush just went rival! Right stroke, put the baby in a spiral. Pat Patakaya. I have to write a whole parody of, uh, of Humble about Jeb Bush. That'd be really funny. So good. there is that run. There's not really any point for me. Patakaya, gotcha. There's not really any point for me to do the night Grand Prix right now. So if I want to have a hope to win that, I just need to practice more. And it's not like the Queen Cup where um, I need a challenge with it. I guess they're still doing them every 30 minutes though, so we'll get to do like, probably do a couple Queen Cups to stream, I guess. But, Thinking about streaming about that long and all that. I just hope at some point they update this game. Um, where there's sound settings so you can mute the music so I can play some other music. Dang, I was the deciding vote there. I, I, I was really kind of deciding between the two because, like, on one hand, Mute City 2 is still kind of new, on the other hand, it's Mute City. I think I should choose Big Blue and Sand Ocean whenever they come up because like I think those are the tracks I stand the best chance at getting a win on. Those guys. 
probably the first one to get up on the highway this round, looks like. Alright, so long fellas. This is my race to win. The part about getting in front down, I just gotta be able to maintain that. So I think, I guess my placements are still about average enough to um, gain points or whatever. Probably won't be till I get to S or S plus that I start kind of leveling out, maybe. Grand Prix version of this song gets more stuck in my head. Dang it. Well, I like Mute City 2 better than Mute City, so at least there's that. If you do exactly what I just did there, it, it's so bad because like the one spot that slows you down like steered me into the other one. That part is just really designed to screw you over badly.
Yeah, I really like the lighting. Because I, I was thinking to maybe do it like this. That's a little bit dimmer. There's kind of no point. That's kind of how it was. track I like. I feel like I have a pretty good handle on this one. Big blue. Sand ocean and um buggy. Nah, I was just reading that guy's name. Oh damn. About to be in the dead last.
guys can tell from me how much dying. Stopping by, hey dude, yeah, what's up dude? I've been playing since I'm here in 99. Totally overdue for a win and all that, you know what I mean? Um, this looks good. Alright, cool. How are you? I'm doing very well. Also, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciate the follow. Very much appreciate the support of the stream. You already know, we got some, uh, destroying four rivals out here. So, totally flexing on them and all that. Yes, yeah, I'm doing pretty well though. I hope you are doing well too, you know. Sounds good. Yeah, totally, man. Very fun stream. Uh, I just got my hair cut. I really like it because I'm going along in the back, you know. Super cool stuff. And uh, I'd love to hit the top 10s on the race like we did there, so... Hopefully we'll keep some momentum going through this. Even though we're going against Pipel, Mario Bar, Matichu, Mr. Joker. All the usual suspects. Yes, I'm doing well. That's great, I'm very glad to hear that. So how did you choose his name? Sorry, James. S-A-R-I-E never heard that word, but it sounds like it would be like a word in a different language or something. Let's go for some port town. Probably gonna be Mute City too, though. Oh, cool. I actually got it. I need way more practice here than Mute City too. Oh wow, I don't think I've started on the extreme end side of a race yet. Pretty cool. Yeah, it was too late. Oh well. Not bad. 
40. And with the 40 ounce, now it's getting disgusting. <laughs> if you play well, you will definitely win. I am very much inclined to agree with you there. And also, number one brawler. It's like my, my title says right now, brawler baller. Oh yeah, I forgot this thing is about to start. So yeah, I need to complete a queen cup so I can freaking get the last decal for this car. So hopefully we'll do that. I'm going to need to win, just uh, making the top 20. So yeah, let's see if I have what it takes. You only play this game, or you play like other games too? Yeah, I play a bunch of other games. Um, just to name a few I've played recently, Street Fighter VI and Guilty Gear Strive are among some of the main games I play. I've been playing Trackmania Turbo, that's been going very well. A little bit of World Heroes, a little bit of Art of Fighting, classic fighting games, a little bit of Fall Guys. I played some Fall Guys yesterday off stream pretty fun. Yeah, I think it's great too. I uh, played Donkey Kong Country this morning. I think it's pretty great. I, I, um, I would like to be a variety gamer, variety streamer. Before I was a streamer, I was already a variety gamer, basically. Hey, look at this start. That could be the goat right now. Was that? You got bounced like backwards on that track. Which is not cool. Well, for how badly that bounce messed me up, I guess it's decent. You also do this streaming daily? Yeah, I have been streaming daily. There was one day I didn't stream a couple weeks ago, but I've been streaming daily for like a solid month or two now or something like that. And I'm really excited. The best way to grow as a streamer is stream daily, so I'm gonna try to maintain that. I've been streaming really multiple times a day. It might, it might uh, do me better to have a consistent streaming schedule or something, but... And what do you do besides the streaming? Um, well, I really like reading, reading books, riding my bike. That's a bicycle, not a motorbike. Um, spending time outside. I'm, I'm just like, I watch Twitch and Netflix, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, when I'm not streaming, I've been trying to diversify how I spend my additional free time. It's been great thing to do. like watching Netflix in Spanish to practice my Spanish. I've been watching through uh, Better Call Saul, it's been really cool. Alright, if I get past this one, 
the red cannon will be easy, so I just gotta get the solid raising in the corner. Also, what in the heck was all that? I used to do a lot of game, but now I don't get time. Uh, that's too bad. So what, what is it that uses up a lot of your time so that you can't do much gaming? I'm guessing probably a job or school. Most people's time gets eaten away by one of those two things, generally, right? But yeah, gaming's been a huge hobby for me for a while. So I've always had time for it. When I was in college, I was usually pretty busy, so I didn't have as much time, but like, I just kind of played, like, I played a lot of Smack Bros in college, me and my video games club homies, and uh, Rocket League. It's kind of my time for casual gaming and learning and reading and writing papers and getting good grades. I got the Magna Cum Laude and whatever. And yeah, I worked two part-time jobs, so that, that was a lot of time in college. Like to do that. I guess that was a good start. It didn't seem that good, but... Just waiting for the mob to overtake me. like the worst possible placement for that great car right there. Alright, we need to speed up by a lot. I think I'll be right fine. I saw that that was coming, so yeah, I think that bullet bill Another clutch moment for that, and I saved this there. Barely made top 40. Excellent. It's because of studies and because of compulsion to work. Uh, so you're doing studies and work. Yeah, I totally feel that. Going to school at the same time as working a job grind. Well, I hope those are both going well for you. I hope you can enjoy your studies because, um, you know, it's like there's a lot of cool stuff to study out there. And if you care about what you're learning about, it can be really fun and 
educational and all that good stuff. Alright, let's see if I can swing a how I did last night. I somehow got a top 20 on this track. This track whose music I love, but is still the bane of my existence. I'm reversing really difficult players like Underscore. I don't want to mess with that guy, right? Oh man, that was close. I thought I did my bad. So I was like, oh man, that's good, but then I did. I need to follow up the explanation accordingly. <laughs> yeah, I got the huge boost meter. We got either one or two KOs. I thought it was just one, but I don't like the two KO boost in the right kind of thought. Alright. Yeah, we got a lot of points, so that's really good. Power points or whatever. That great car was gonna mess me up really badly. I just like very lightly bumped it. Perfect. Okay, now I'm a little bit nervous. That was an excellent since I saw the KO and I freaking grabbed it. Alright, cool. Looking very good. So all I have to do is finish the race. I don't care. Like Number 3 Blue Falcon, number 2 S Pilot, number 2 Brawler. I don't care. I just want to unlock the last Blue Falcon decal. And then all I'm going to do is F099 until I get a win. So I can unlock another Blue Falcon color. Just like my old Call of Duty days where, yeah, it's fun to shoot people and capture flags, but I really just want to complete some challenges, bro. So. <laughs> Alright, so uh, as some of you know or maybe don't know, you're on the last round of a Grand Prix. It's down to 20. Just start on the track like a regular F-Zero race. Super cool detail. Definitely love that. Take it nice and slow, nice and easy. I think it's really slow, but whatever. That's the part where you need to be going kind of fast, or else you'll um, not make the jump and just instantly die. Yeah, I got it 
down to the goal, finish the race. Might be in second to last. Maybe that'll help with our placement. Hopefully we won't hurt it. Alright, GG. Can you get me logo or artwork for your channel, then you can let me know. If you don't mind, I can share my work. Um, I don't want to waste your time, my friend. I already have an artist. Number one brawler, let's go. Now I already have an artist for um, artwork for my channel. So I, I won't be purchasing any of that artwork from you. Sorry to inform you of that, but... Yeah, I already have an artist. We're, we're already working on some things, so... But thanks for offering. I hope you find some people with whom you can share your artwork. Contribute to their channels and all that. That's what I'm talking about. New decal unlocks. So now I have all the decals for this one. I guess I'll use the new decal. Problem. Yeah, thanks for understanding. Much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really excited about some of the artwork. Me and my, uh, me and the person I've been talking to on Discord a lot. Got some cool stuff coming for the sake of the stream. Glad I'd lock the new decal. I don't really like it that much. Probably gonna go back to the plain color pretty soon. Um, cause yeah, it's, it just looks kind of like there are already one or two other geometric decals. Could have spiced it up a little, but it's all good. And everybody does not use the blue falcon anyway. So once I um, I don't know if I want to try to get all the challenges done with it. If I do get to that point, I'm gonna switch to another car after that.
I think that guy I passed it down was my rival. It was really funny. Yeah, number four though. It's pretty dang good. Feel good about that. Yeah, literally. <laughs> There are two right by me. Number one, Blue Falcon. Number one, Espa. Number one, Brawler. I'm basically in number one, except for not coming in first. <laughs> really cool, though. Very encouraging results. Yeah, like I got 20 top tens without a first place. Can you guys believe I'm that much of a noob? I'm, a, I'm like a skilled noob. Casual tryhard, Justin Wong, getting my Justin Wong on. Getting my Wong on. Alright, no, that sounds kind of weird now. Leave it at that. Potato. rivals even though I died. Man, I don't know what these guys are doing. A bunch of noobs out here. Definitely. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That, that race was crazy. Went through all the emotions of that one.
big portion of the people voting for Big Blue. Rambutan. Wow, wow. I wonder if he's talking about the gas station chain. Where I come from in Pennsylvania, people always talk about Sheets versus Wawa. A lot of people probably don't even know what either of those is, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like gas station. I don't know what the category is for gas stations that like also sell food. Like gas station slash fast food restaurant kind of thing. Yeah, that's what they are. so much riskier when I'm like in the top 10 and a lot of times it's uh, not to my advantage. Should have switched teams. Oh, I needed one. Giordano sandwich. But yeah, I uh, that reminds me of this song. There's a new um, Drake song where it's Drake and Bad Bunny, and like the way that Drake is talking Spanish on it sounds like he's so badly like making fun of Spanish Spanish accent. Like a really over exaggerated Spanish accent, but I guess there's some rhyme and reason to it. There's definitely some rhyme to it. Um, there be some reason to it as well. Driving, oh, well, apparently not that time, but um, <laughs> I like driving through that part anyway. But I think it's that's the part that's fastest to fly over, or maybe it's this part. Oh my god. 
god, please. Alright, guys, sometimes you get so slow down. You might as well be completely stopped. And if that happens in a race, you're pretty much lucky to get a top 50. So I guess this run is really good, in a way. You know, it's not, actually. <laughs> Oh dang, that KO just saved my life. Well, somebody died so that I could live, so... They basically jumped in front of a train for me there. Or, uh, or yeah, yeah, like they pushed me out of the way of the train. And then they got hit by the train. Except the train was also me, so like... Um... Different metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, something, something like that, you know, logic, words, sentences, all these things we use with language. But yeah, it's like nobody will be in the 99 playlist when the Grand Prix is going on, I guess. Except for all the people like me who are wanting to save their tickets. And we got a, we got a racer in the lobby, ladies and gentlemen, named F099. I applaud your shout out to the game, your commitment to the game, my friends. Alright, so there's only 70 real people, 20 something bots. If I get my first win in a lobby like this, it's gonna feel really lame, but it's still a part of the game, so it's not like I'm cheating the system. It's not like I'm backing out of lobbies that have 99 players to try to race with bots. Let's imagine somebody doing that. They're just that desperate for a win. And then and then they almost get first, then they get passed by a bot, and their idea of their plan completely crumbles. And you're like, why was I doing this in the first place when I could have just kept playing lobbies? to get a KO off that one guy. So I did bump into him. If it would have been a spin attack, I probably would have got the kill. Alright, well, still be three rivals somehow. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna be right back, guys.
Well, I'm um, abandoning my hopes of coming in first because we're facing Mint's wife. Wife of Mint. I'm telling you, we are gonna like revert back to all of the horrible things about the old times without bringing back any of the good ones, and it's gonna be really stupid. That, that's the preview for the rest of the 21st century for you guys, so. Take, do with that information what you will. I'm surrounded by two little Johnnies. Even though Carl is a cool name. Or my homie's name, Carl. <laughs> Shout out to Carl. Oh my gosh, I could not even see the boost pad, dude. Swerving. So I at the end. I'm sorry you guys had to see that. But I got bumped into that red car. It was just all downhill from there. The race was really crowded with the red. Too much red, too much Soviets. But I guess that's my destiny. I'm wearing the red shirt today, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I was kind of thinking since I want to try to win a Grand Prix. I think I'm gonna switch to going for the Night Cup. Because, like, Mute City, Big Blue, Sand Ocean, Deathwind 1, and Silence. I can do pretty well on those, but, like, what's the other one? Mute City 2, Port City 1, Red Canyon. It's just the White Lands. Like, I can feel pretty confident on the first three in the Queen League, but the White Lands... I'm gonna definitely practice any tracks that are on White Land over the Night Cup, I guess. But not really, because I'll choose Sand Ocean and Big Blue over, like, Mute City 2. But Red Canyon or Port City 1, I'll take all the practice I can get. Probably my destiny to get my first win on Mute City, since I don't like this track really. Ivan Killer, very cool font, my dude. 
just to make sure everybody knows he's not a little Johnny. That's the only reason people ever hit their gamer tags like that. I am not. For those who don't know, that's a uh, pretty good thing to do, by the way. Yeah, give me the first place. Not yeah, close enough. That bumps so badly there. Do not park your ass in front of me, bro. Things I do to get in the top 10. We didn't even get it, we got 11. <laughs> no, that's, that's still really good. So I guess a lot, a lot of the guys above me now are S star rank. Or stars are a, a variable, it can be 1, or, one through 20, right? It's gonna just feel weird if I get to S1 and I haven't even got a win yet. I know, I know it'll come. I'm just, I'm not patient enough. Sh should I just keep this stream going until we get a win, guys? I know, let me know what you think in the chat. All my millions of chatters and something, but <laughs> it's alright. Once I have a really busy chat box, I'll be able. I'll, I'll become able to feel reminiscent and nostalgic about um, when there was nobody talking in my chat really. I was talking to Sorry James earlier and he fought, hit me with the follow. I don't know if that guy's still watching. But shout out to you if you're watching Sorry James. And I got one follow today so um, every day where I get a follow I feel like I'm, I'm one step closer to being a streamer. <laughs> Professionally, or something, you know. I've got about 53, I think, now, so just multiply that by like 100, then I'll be looking pretty good. Tomo. Yeah. 
the like hair from me. This is the best part about practice kits. We gotta really get this kit there. I could have came out earlier. It would have been pretty clutch. Damn. Feels bad, man. Alright, though. Number one brawler. Let's look at the muscles on this brawler. No, I'm, I'm more like a I'm more of a cardio guy. Lean muscle, you know. All that, all that good stuff. It's my excuse. <laughs> No, no, it's not an excuse. I mean, I, I've earned the right to call myself a cardio guy. I'm like, riding my bike 13 miles a day for the past however long. Mario Kart Wii. <clears throat> Pretty cool name, dude. Another sandwich. I think that's the same guy. I'm pretty sure he had that same car. Nine, eight, all right. You're wrecked, y'all. Vaya con Dios. Number one S pilot. See you guys. I just got to S. I'm already due to be 
higher than S and all that. Number two, Brawler. I've gotten a lot of crowns today. I, I feel amazing about my gameplay. Bringing some good gameplay for you guys. In every game I play, I will always do that. Except for games I suck at. But what, there's pretty much none of those. It's pretty much, uh... Trying to find the game I suck at is like Mission Impossible. Yeah, I think Mission Impossible Golden Eye is one of the only games I always suck at, but... <laughs> Seen Mario Kart Wii again. Friday, we got some Rebecca Black in the house, you know. Nothing worth reading on the screen right now. I don't care about little Donnie's or uh, people whose names are stuck. A lot of stuff to me. Man. You guys can keep that energy for yourself. <laughs> and whenever it comes in my chat like that, it's gonna be like, hey, thanks for the support. <laughs> oh, isn't, isn't that. Did I, did I see. Um, through my third eye, I think I can see that someone else on your followers was just playing a game that you would much rather watch. <laughs> That's a good line, I don't think save that one. Is that Gary motherfucking Oak? <laughs> The guy's in first, of course he was above me on the highway. Alright, risky boost time. Yeah, don't you guys wear ahead of me? I'll just wanna blow up so you can uh Oh god. playing risky and that was a total fail. <laughs> I, I saw someone get like absorbed by the thing right in front of me and for a second I was like whoa what the heck was this some kind of glitch or something? Then I realized we probably just overlapped someone who was in bed last. I feel like this, it, it'd be really interesting to me to see like a really young or really not skilled gamer play this game because like to me it seems really not friendly <laughs> to like, to um, it, it's, it seems like for people below a certain skill level it would be a really unforgiving, like, not enjoyable game. I, I don't know, but like, I, my perception of like the streamers I watch and my own gameplay, I can only see it, how it affects players of a nearly higher, higher skill level. Oh, I don't know, that sentence is really trash, but you guys get what I mean. <laughs> Zero Brawl, the Avatar, the Avatar. I don't know what that's about.
ground. I can't really do it to grab that. And I lost the top 25. It's a pretty consistent thing for me if I like the race is going well, then I have one or two slip ups. Instantly 40 through 45. It's pretty consistent. <laughs> and we're about to get that. Yeah, I'm gonna be grinding out some tickets and all that. I was talking about doing the Queen League. I think I'll stay on until we can we'll finish out with the Night League later. Maybe there'll be a Pro Tracks after this Queen League. We can do some of that. failing me. Can we start near some cool name people? Super Nick. Viola Meta 7. Viola Meta 7, you get a 10 out of 10 just for being really weird and random. Love to see that. I see the big bike at the start of like past three races. Probably go over the boost pad a lot faster. Probably get less. It's like the average speed on that thing. Today. Five counts of top twenty-five. Yeah, it does. Cool. Totally should, right? left to do and then two wins. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Only three challenges left with this car. It can be a watermelon. It's cool. Very cool.
Kaito. I know I saw that name the other day. So I was thinking if that was Kaito. What, yeah, I didn't even look up if his last name was Umehara or not. Let's see. Kaito Denganronpa. Kaito Momota. Yeah, I wonder whose last name is Umehara. I was thinking of. Oh, I think I was thinking of Daigo Umehara. Daigo, Kaito. The same vowel sound. Daigo, the beast, Umehara. I bought a book and then read it. Really cool. Really, really cool. Finish, I may get 99 top 25s before first place. It's so weird, dude. this race is bots and this is my time to get a really cheap win <laughs> if I go to Deathwind oh man imagine if I vote your mute city and we lost Deathwind by one I almost did get the Deathwind that was cool but yeah shout out to Kaito Momota very cool character in Danganronpa V3 and um shout out Daigo Umehara especially because um Really grateful for everything he's done for the fighting game community. And so just like being a really amazing part of it from basically the really beginning. Daigo Umehara and Justin Wong, those are two of the like Mount Rushmore FPC, at least the early FPC. Pretty much today they still count both power too though. Well. You can feel so much more relaxing when it's like you're not being bummed around constantly. to be near the front for a while because you see like so many people drop off of the highway and steal first for like a second and then longer. Oh my god. Well 
though, so much for chilling at the front all the time. So that guy's name's Flopper. He just did like a huge like car flop right on top of me. I like I was looking around myself. I was like I was remembering who was behind me. I'm like yeah, there's not really nobody around me. It's totally cool, man. And then boom, you're up the highway. You can never be safe because of that. Cause like you you can have some idea of who's behind you, like. Unless somebody has creeped from behind you and they weren't behind you like when you pass them, but like this the highway yeah, you can never be safe. Like <laughs> it, it it is a great mechanic, but it also how can I say this? It adds some unpredictability to the game. Because the other thing that can happen that's even kinda worse is you can be up on the highway. And then you're landing and it lands you like right around like two or three of the red cars and then like it's like wow like <laughs> i mean maybe you can kind of see that coming too or something but like the highway giveth and taketh away it's jim from the office and there and there's roy got roy and jim this crazy office reference you're welcome guys just what i do it's just part of my job I mean, part of my hobby, it's not yet my job. But maybe it'll someday be my job. That'd be really cool, so. That was Balrog at first, it's bearing. They come bearing gifts, like my, fir my, uh, my first first place win. <laughs> my first F0 win is kind of a better way to play. Be the perfect gift for this moment. So close to my bullet bill, that was so dumb. I get killed by JP, what is this, Street Fighter 6? Just like in Street Fighter 6, I always get wrecked by JP. No, actually I do pretty well against JP, but it's still annoying. <laughs> I like these both. That was a tough choice. I, I was the deciding vote again, bro. I mean, literally anybody can say that. We, we were all the deciding vote. But I choose to see myself as the deciding vote. Um, <laughs> but no, that was a tough choice. Like, I like these two tracks about equally. I don't really have a favorite track. I just, I like Deathwind 1 and 2. Rock Canyon and Big Blue. But like there aren't really any bad tracks in this game. Like obviously Mute City is kind of annoying and whatever. Um, but it's still good. Like it's... There weren't other better tracks. It wasn't too much bad in comparison. It's just kind of one of those things. Nobody ever does that. Uh, there's 
see anybody boost around me in that part of the track. And I think we're getting set up to get a bullet bill right near the front, possibly. Not only kind of near the front. Yeah, that's a good time. Seems like there's a lot of big falcons in the front. Ooh, it was really bad. Another time where the bullet bill came too late. This Fortunatamente. Dang it. Tryhards. Tryhards, every single one of ya. <laughs> and the one only beat me by one spot. Feels bad, man. Alright, let's do a little bit of pro tracks. If I got my first win on one of these, that'd be really hilarious. practice on that one. Alright. Tandy B, Zim, Yas, and Remix Rave. I think all the cool people do pro tracks. I should just should just do that more often I guess. Yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty cool guys. Pretty cool. You know, I've got the new haircut. Feeling like a ninja. I'm feeling the opposite of drip free. Very drip full. It's a remix rave. I bet there are some really good remixes of F Zero songs in this one. It's a bad time for me to do it. It's really bad. Basically lost all the ground I covered, but... At least since we're back here, I'll get a bullet bill real quick now. He's in front of me. That great car got. Oh my god. I got so freaking screwed by the great cars there. That was not even. That was like, that was like perfectly aligned with the screen. Oh my god. Oh, not doing that badly despite that major screw up. Well, thanks for the bullet though. Shout out to the freaking highway dude. Doesn't look like we will, but I somehow I just think that we will. Called it. GG. Not really, because 35. I already made this joke once, so I'm gonna say it again. Thanks a lot. Next semester I'll be 35. <laughs> 
been kind of listening to some Eminem lately. You know, it's really, uh, really some good stuff. Really heartwarming. It's really um, fun for the whole family. No, I'm just kidding, but um. <laughs> Hadouken 18. Oh, that's the same vote as before. Probably the same result then, right? Hmm, dang. It's like the exact opposite result. A block, Zim, Lucas Hu Huber, and a little Johnny. beat a rival. So GG. But yeah, I think I'm gonna um, do like two or three more of these, I guess. Probably three. Um, probably two, actually. And then um, do the night cup. That'll be the end of the stream. Good two hour and something of 099 stream. And then... See what I want to do later. I'm definitely gonna stream something. Unless some plans come up or whatever, but I need practice for these both, so
random chat at this moment. Also, all the people who watch my vibes seems like there's kind of a lot. Of, so um, yeah, I think they see this part of the vibe. Appreciate you checking it out. Appreciate the support. Yeah, I'm just like talking in that chat more instead. I guess I get more used to uh, scanning for follower notifications and. At some point I'll have a huge like, caller notification on my stream and it'll play some sound effects. And it'll serve to both uh, the people who follow me a moment on the stream and also as like a sound cue for me to like thank people for the follow. Like right when this sound cue goes off and it's like, oh my god, thank you for the support, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I just realized when I voted the last time, so it's not really true that all of us are the deciding vote. So the 50 people who voted for Deathwind were the deciding vote, because like, if one of the people who voted for the other track voted for Deathwind, it wouldn't have changed the results. But if only one of us, 50, had switched, then that would have changed the result. Retro fan. I'm a fan of numbers and math, so that's why I think about stuff like that.
Yeah, it's been pretty more consistent around the top 25, it seems like. It's pretty hype. Another 3 out of 4. Alright, so let's take all of these amazing skills I've been using and apply them to this Grand Prix. You have to grind the Grand Prix like crazy if you want to really win one of them. I don't really picture myself ever getting that good at this game. On one hand, because I want to play a lot of different games, but on the other hand, like this game might have a long life cycle. I was talking about that the other day. I would think that would be really great. Yeah, so you know, to see what happens and all that. EDP 445. Hmm. Is that like PPMD? Snazzy Tiger. Alright. It's gonna be me, this Grand Prix, the Snazzy Tiger. She snazzles them all. And first, every race, like a boss. Because they're tightly packed, like some card doing but there for real. the larger meter for the next races and um, goodbye to my chances of winning this Grand Prix. That, that's what I hate about the Grand Prix. It's like it doesn't feel like it's worth it to play anymore. I'm the number one brawler. I'm the number one brawler. But still I feel stripped of my purpose because like how is someone who comes in 60th going to win the Grand Prix? The only reason to finish it for me is like because I haven't gotten a first place I've been wondering if you get first, like really later into the Grand Prix on the, one of the last two races, it must count as a first place to unlock the new color, right? But like it doesn't feel like you got first as much since there's not 99 people you're racing against, there's only 40 or 20. This one's gonna be 80, and usually it's even a little less. It looks 76 instead of 80 or something, I guess a lot of people back out. Probably because of what I was just saying, it's like, they want to win a Grand Prix, and you already know you're not going to win if you get something really low. The chances go down by a lot, I should say.
see how try hard the two lobbies are getting now that I'm in the higher ranks so it's like this race is going perfectly fine. Yeah, it was still about the rank out. Four more. Beat an S6 guy. I guess I should feel accomplished for that. I've probably been beating a lot of tryhards if I've been placing pretty well today. A lot of high rankers. Place in the top 40. You're gonna have to have a pretty, pretty clean race to um, to be well into the top 40. What the heck, bro? I'm glad that was recorded because that was some major BS. Needs to be documented. Okay, well, I'm not in last anymore, so there's still some hope. Yeah, I didn't think it would be tough to get past these guys in the back. Still gotta get past them. Got them all four of the sub. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time in this stream though. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm gonna eat some lunch and chill stream later on this evening. Johnny is the rival. Going down, all little Johnny's.
was going pretty well, but using this one boost pad would probably be a good bit off. survive that and still beat three rivals well we gained a lot of S minus points today definitely got some top tens and a number one brawler look at this body of iron <laughs> and the red cyclone you know yeah but anyway that was cool GG's so I'm going to be backing out of this lobby and all that, obviously. But um hope you guys have enjoyed the stream and give her supporting the content. And um, I will be back to stream this game and some other ones very soon. So I hope you will look forward to that. And thank you very much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.